a body found floating in the River Thames. That's how it began for Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard. It might be a troublesome case, it might not be. He didn't know at first. But for Sherlock Holmes, it was to prove one of the most gruesome and dangerous cases of his career. For him, it began one evening a few days before the body was found. Writing another monograph, Holmes? <laughs> Nothing so exotic, my dear fellow. I'm trying to balance my bank account. Oh. I don't know why banks will make such an elaborate and complicated affair. What is basically a simple and beautiful business? Putting money in and taking it out. Well, I think it's the taking it out that complicates it for them. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like this. Very curious. What do you make of it, Holmes? Hmm. A diamond, obviously. A yellow diamond. Mm-hmm. I thought it might be. Yes, in the curious shape of a left eye tooth. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Hmm. Where'd you find it? Well, I was down by the East Quay. I went down to the waterfront run for a stroll. I saw the thing shining, it caught my eye. But, but who'd use a diamond tooth? Brazilian, possibly. Why Brazilian? Well, yellow diamonds are most common in Brazil, and there's a sort of habit or a custom amongst Brazilian diamond mine owners to sport a, a diamond tooth. It's a, to show their affluence, you know. <laughs> it sounds a barbarous custom. Mm. I'd say that the cutting is worth more than the stone itself. Well, what shall I do with the thing? Oh, why not put an advertisement in the Times? That's a good idea. Hmm. Chap must be quite uncomfortable without his tooth. <sighs> now, let me see. Um, found. One diamond tooth. Found one left upper diamond two lost 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 everything's lost in this lost and found can't we notice that Holmes ah here we are found one diamond tooth. Well, owner kindly apply 221B Baker Street. Do you think anyone will answer this? If no one does, you'll own a diamond tooth, won't you? Mm -hmm. uh, could I have half the paper, Watson? Oh, well, there you are. Thank you. Anyway, a diamond's a diamond, even if it is a tooth. Sir, I believe you have an advertisement in the Times. Come in, my dear sir. Yes, indeed, we have an advertisement in the Times. Indeed, this is Mr. Sherlock Holmes, Mr. Uh, uh, Harry Harkins, clerk with Hedges and Thomas, accountant, sir. Good morning, Mr. Harkins. Uh, good day, sir. Now, sir, you, uh, you've lost a diamond tooth. Yes, sir, from here. Oh, yes, that's strange. Oh, well, well um, uh, tell me, where did you lose it? As near as I can recollect, somewhere around the East Quay docks. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yes, sir, that's it, all right. An accountant, did you say? Yes, sir. Uh, if you don't mind, sir, may I have my tooth, then I won't disturb you gentlemen anymore. You're not disturbing us in the least, Mr. Harkins. Thank you, Watson. I gather your firm does business with shipping companies, which accounts for your presence in the docks. Yes, sir. Yeah, it makes you hanker after the old days at sea, I expect. Old days at sea, sir? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. I've never been to sea. Excuse me. Hello, Inspector. Come on in. Ah, oh, good morning, Dr. Watson. I'm glad I found you. Oh, hello, Holmes. Oh, morning, Lestrade. May I introduce Mr. Harkins? This is Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard. I'm delighted to meet you, sir. Delighted. Dr. Watson. Yeah? 
I wanted to ask you... If you... About the body they fished out of the Thames a little while ago. Yes, how did you know? Well, your shoes and the bottoms of your trousers are wet. I might have stepped in a puzzle. Hasn't rained for a week, Lestrade. Besides, that particular reddish mud comes from the Thames Embankment near New Quay. Any place in London you'll find it. A body? Well, only a body would bring you to Baker Street without bothering to change your shoes and trousers. Ah, I was waiting for that. Go on, straight after him. Welcome. The straight I said that way. Well, I'm sorry, Dr. Watson. I thought you said that way. Well, it's too late now. We'll never catch him. He... He got away. Oh, he jumped on the back of the cab. Well, at least he didn't get his tooth. Would one of you two gentlemen mind telling me why I was chasing that little man? Well, yes, you see, I found a darn tooth and, and uh, advertised the owner. This chap turned up. He's obviously a faker. But how do you spot him, Holmes? As soon as he opened his mouth. You see, Watson, Harkin's missing tooth was a right eye tooth. Whereas this diamond tooth is a left eye tooth. Diamond teeth, right eye tooth, left eye tooth. Dr. Watson, hmm? the official post-mortem isn't until late this afternoon. But I would take it as a great favor if you would examine the body now. Oh, my dear, my dear Inspector, I'd be absolutely delighted, well, of course. Oh, uh, if anyone asks for me, Holmes, just tell them that I'm on a little job for Scotland Yard, will you? And just take any mystery. At your service, my dear doctor. Now, wait a minute. Hmm? What about this man I was chasing? Oh, nothing very much. He was just after this diamond tooth, that's all. Yes, but where did that come from? It came from the body you fished out of the river this morning. You coming? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Rigor mortis is set in fully. He's a giant of a man. Six feet four at least. About 18 stone. Mm -hmm. Must have been as strong as a horse. Probably died of drowning. There's no sign of a wound, is there, Doctor? No, but I don't think he was drowned, Lestrade. Hmm. He did occasional diamond cutting. How do you know that? Well, the condition of the left thumb, characteristic of diamond cutters. Yet the callosity is not a deep one, showing the trade was casual. Hmm. Oh, might have been a cobbler. Well, then it'd have been the right thumb. In any case, his clothes don't indicate a humble profession. Well, Watson, we leave him in your practiced hands. With a word of caution. About what? The very thing that was worrying you. This man obviously didn't die under ordinary circumstances. Well, come, let's see. And now to identify the man, let's say. It may take a few days, you know. We can't spare a few days. We must do it in a few hours while Watson is completing his examination. A few hours? Come now, Holmes. What with your magnifying glass? Common sense, Lestrade. Tell me, how many Brazilian and Portuguese dentists do you think there are in London? What's that got to do? Oh, I see. Trace them through his dentist, eh? An excellent suggestion, Lestrade. I'm so glad you thought of it. Yes, we'll do precisely that. Senor Gomez? Si, I am Senor Gomez. Uh, you have the toothache? No, I'm afraid I haven't, Senor. I'm so sorry. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard. How do you do? Scotland Yard? The, the, the police? But, Senors, I have done nothing wrong. If Senor Martinez say I pull out his tooth without his permission, he is a liar. We've come in a different matter, Mr. Gomez. A matter of a diamond tooth, to be exact. Well, you wish a diamond tooth? Uh, no, no. Ah, no you, senor, you, senor, you wish to have your teeth fixed, huh? No, I, I'm afraid not. Not today. Well, for a Portuguese dentist in London, life, she is miserable. The, the, the English, they, they, they do not come. 
Uh, and the Portuguese, they come. They come, but they have teeth like, like pearls. Uh -huh. Fish, I presume. See, see, fish, or oh, fish, they eat nothing but fish. Fish, they make teeth strong. If I could, I would, I would take out all the fish in the sea and, and like that, I hate fish. <laughs> it's a very understandable sentiment, senor. But tell me, do you have a patient with a diamond tooth? Ah, see, si. see si Francesco Vargas. An eye tooth? Uh, si, si left upper eye tooth, left upper eye tooth, put in many years ago when he had great mind in, in Brazil. Big chap? Oh, giant! That's him, Holmes. It would appear so, Lestrade. Tell me, this Senor Vargas, what business is he engaged in? Oh, I think he, uh, he imports the diamonds. Ah, well, thank you very much, Senor. Well, we won't trouble you any more, Dr. Gomez. Um, perhaps you have a friend that needs the repairs of the teeth. Yes, yes, possibly I have. Yes, indeed I have, a doctor friend of mine. Huh. Well, on uh, second thoughts, I seem to remember he's rather partial to fish. Oh, Good day, doctor. Good day. Fish. Always fish. A Santa Madonna. Well, you were right, Holmes. Oh, was I? You're dry on that? No. No water in the lungs. Well, the body showed no cuts or lacerations. I know. Not even a bruise. It's amazing, Holmes. Downright uncanny. Of course, there was an advanced state of rigor mortis which concealed the condition. What condition? Well, practically every bone in his body was broken. Great Scott, is that what he died of? Well, I don't know how this trade, but this man was literally crushed to death. Oh, well, that man was a giant, too, yet he was literally crushed like a fly. Well, there's one thing, Holmes, it certainly wasn't your little man. Well, hardly. It took a superhuman force to kill him. Not superhuman, my dear fellow. No? Th then what? Inhuman, Watson. Inhuman. <laughs> case of a diamond tooth. You know, although I don't really approve of this disguise business, I must say I've got a great knack for it. I always thought I had acting talent. Yes, yes, Watson. I'd say a bosun's mate at least. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I still don't know what we're doing all dressed up like this. Well, from now on, we're a couple of unemployed mariners looking for berths aboard a ship. Oh. I say, Holmes, there's nothing um, illegal about this, is there? Oh, now, really, Watson, your lack of faith shocks me. Oh, no, dear chap, I didn't yes, mean... Yes, yes, quite, 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 quite. Now, Watson, when you found that diamond, did you happen to notice a pub in the vicinity of the river? A pub? Now, uh, let me see. Uh, well, not that I'd really notice one, you understand, but uh, there must be lots in the vicinity. Why don't we look for the closest? We'll do just that. Well, I still don't see, my dear chap, what we're doing. If we're successful, my dear fellow, we might even sail for Brazil. Brazil? Yeah. Oh, Brazil, I'd like that. <laughs> The sea's gone to the dogs these days, what with all this newfangled steam. Steam, now I ask you. Progress. Sales was good enough for me, old man. Sales is good enough for me. Even lads. No import, aren't you? Aye, and it's a fierce thirst we got on us tonight, my darling. What have you been taking for it, Patrick? A pint of bitter? Mm, I'd like a pint of bitter. Well, a pint of mild for me, please, miss. And since you're such a pretty little Colin, you can make it half and half. So, are you trying to mix me up, sailor? Now, why would I be after doing that, my darling? What's hmm? You're sure this is the pub near where you found the diamond? I think so. It looks the same from the outside. What part you out of, mates? Shanghai, me old Shikari. Shanghai? I know it well, I do. I hear butcher Jimmy's got himself sliced up. How is the butcher? The butcher? Well, well we didn't stay very long in Bimport. We sort of... Rather popped in and <laughs> popped out. Why had I seen you before, sailor? Um, what you in here the other night for a pint? Who me? <laughs> oh, well I. Oh, I suppose not. 
Remember how tough that chap was? Oh, really? Drank his beer without spilling a drop. No. But blimey, if you took off that beard, you'd be the spitting image of him. <laughs> if I took off my beard, <laughs> if I took off my... <laughs> what are you silent for, mates? Well, you may believe it or not, but I have an inkling for Brazil. The Vasco da Gama sails for Brazil first thing tomorrow morning. Straight for Brazil? Ah, it's straight. Star of the South sailing tomorrow morning, too. Put in a couple of days ago from Brazil. But she ain't going straight back. Puts in first in Antwerp, she does. Antwerp. Center of the diamond industry, Holmes. I wouldn't send in the Star of the South, I wouldn't. Not under Captain Lancy. Uh, hard case skipper, is he? Oh, proper demon of a man. Slap me in arms as soon as bid you good day. What's this tooth Captain Lancer did the other night? Raised a regular fuss about it, looking everywhere. How could the blighter lose his tooth? Easy. Fell out. Lost me a lot of plate that way once. <laughs> yeah. Did he find his tooth? No. Couldn't find it nowhere. Hey, mate. What? Not you. You. Hmm? Been sailing long? Oh, well. Oh, since I was a nipper. <laughs> Hey, cabin boy. Say, mate. Uh, a word with you in private. I'd be careful of your pal there, mate. Ain't what he seems to be. He's in disguise. Look at them whiskers. Probably out to do you in. Thanks, me old boy. I'll take care of him. Patrick! Mm -hmm. We're going to see Captain Clancy decide on the start of the south. We'd better be off. Right you on, mate. Yeah, mate. Come on, Rosie. Pull him up. Water. Never mind about that. Come on. Yes, a little bit. Going below, Watson. You better stay on deck. No, I'm coming with you. Now, there's an element of danger involved. What do you think there is up here? Yeah, perhaps you're right at that. <laughs> like Vargas. Great Scott. Do you mean Vargas was killed in here? I'm beginning to think so. We'd better get out of here, Watson. We're in extreme danger. That, Mr. Holmes, is an understatement. Harkins! Only this morning, Watson, when it suited his convenience. At all other times, Captain Lancy of the Star of the South. I had an idea you'd be on my trail. They tell me you're a smart man, so I've been waiting for you. You're a clever man too, Captain, quite ingenious. 
Tell me, did you plan to kill Vargas when you sailed from Brazil? Or did you do it on the spur of the moment? I'm not an impulsive man, Mr. Holmes. So you were prepared then when he came to collect the diamonds you'd smuggled in for him. How did you lure him down here? Would he expect me to hand over the diamonds where the crew might see us? You never kill Vargas. You're not strong enough. Aye, but ask your friend how I did it. He'll tell you. No good, Holmes. Both of you. Quickly, Watson. We've got to get out of here. Well, how? No, no, it? not that door. There's a cargo door behind those crates. Come oh, on. Let's get to it. piece of deduction you did, Holmes, but you know you really ought to have let the yard handle this case. In my present condition, I'm inclined to wish I had. How did you deduce that it was a bore? <laughs> Constrictor! <laughs> well, I could think of nothing else that would strangle a huge man like Vargas. The bore Constrictor comes from South America, and both Vargas and the diamonds pointed to Brazil. You know, if Lancey hadn't lost that diamond tooth that he took from Vargas before he threw the body overboard... Ah, yeah, and if he hadn't been greedy and answered that advertisement... Yes, but he did lose the tooth, Watson, and he did answer the advertisement. Oh, Watson? Yes, Holmes? I must say, that was very quick thinking on your part in the ship. Hmm? Oh, well, you know, the time and men of action must... must step in. Not only think quickly, but act quickly. You, you know how it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> 